Samsung Galaxy AO3s from Verizon prepaid. Let's go really quick and do a hard reset for this smartphone. Um, first, the, the, the phone must be powered off in at least 35% of battery. Uh, everything's gonna be deleted on the internal uh, memory phone because it is a factor reset. So it is important that um, you need your Google account associated with the phone if you want to retrieve your personal data after this, like pictures, videos, um, downloading applications. Um, so with the same Google account, you will be able to do so. All right, and also um, you might need another, a new a Verizon prepaid SIM card. So you can go to a Verizon corporate store and buy that SIM card 5G capable. <laughs> Or you can go online and find it. Also make sure that it is a 5G capable um, for this phone, okay? And um, so with the phone power off, you're gonna use the volume up and power key. You're gonna press and hold these two keys at the same time. And uh, as soon as the Samsung logo appears on the screen, release only the power key, but continue holding volume up until you're gonna see a recovery menu with blue letters, then release the volume up, okay? so. If you are ready, and uh, let's go and start. Um, volume up and power key. You're going to press these two buttons together. Samsung appears. Release the pow uh, power key. Continue holding volume up. You're going to see their robot Android. Okay. Continue holding. Release when you see this uh, recovery menu. Okay. So now... We will be able to choose our option. Our option is the fifth option, I think. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so wipe data factory reset. Once it's highlighted, just press the power key to uh, confirm. This is what we are trying to do. Volume down to highlight, uh, I mean, select factory data reset. And we already went through that everything is going to be deleted on the internal memory phone. Make sure that you have removed your SIM card and external memory card to save files. Okay, we're not just remove it right now. Uh, press the power key uh, to perform the factor reset. Once you press the power key, there's no way to go back. So make sure this is one, this is something that you want to do. And at the bottom of the screen, you're going to see something is working. And then at the Tab, we're gonna see a reboot system now is automatically highlight. Press the power key to confirm to uh, uh, power up the phone. Okay, so uh, here it's going to take a few five to eight minutes. So just let the phone uh, reboot itself. And if you don't mind, I'm gonna be talking here. <laughs> I'm gonna give you some information just in case that your um, your phone gets stuck on Verizon logo or Samsung logo and it won't take you to the initial setup screen. Um, so after after eight minutes, is, is this continue on this logo? That means that something is wrong. Just uh, press the power key for up to 20 minutes. And the, when the phone power off, start over again with the same process as we did at the beginning of the video. Uh, sometimes uh, by pressing um, the power key, the phone is it's going to reboot or restart. If the phone restarts, then um, as soon as the screen goes off, just press volume up and power key immediately. And uh, as soon as the phone vibrates to, to bring up the Samsung logo, just release the power key, continue holding volume up until you, you're gonna see a uh, recovery menu with blue letters, then release the volume up, okay? Just as we did at the beginning. Uh, the thing is that sometimes when you press the um, power key the phone restarts in, instead of power off so just in case that, that happens just make sure that uh, you press immediately as soon as the screen goes off press volume up and power key okay all right and uh, just uh, give it the phone um, let the phone work itself and um, I'm gonna be back on the screen where we have to choose our language Okay, it's, it's getting there, starting Android. Okay, so now you are you have the opportunity to choose our language. Just uh, touch this area and see what language uh, this phone allows us to um, use with it. 
So just your choose your favorite language and don't start it. Accept terms and conditions to continue. And now we are the steps where you have to insert our SIM card. So let's insert the current SIM card to see what happens. Okay, so we SIM card is not from Verizon Wireless. It doesn't recognize the SIM card now. So let's go and try our new SIM card. Okay, our new SIM card is there. Let's see what happens. Please wait while we activate your phone. This may take up to 15 minutes. You are removing your number from your old phone to this one. Remember to keep your old phone number turned off until activation is complete. Okay. So you have another, if you're using a used SIM card from another phone, a uh, power down your yeah, phone and insert the that used SIM card on this phone. So that, that means that we're gonna register um, <clears throat> our phone number. Well, let's wait what information is asking us. So it's going to take about 15 minutes, that's what it says, so I want to pause the video. Okay, we got this phone, this uh, uh, right here, this message, so let's go and touch use Wi-Fi instead, see if that helps. Not allowed to use on Wi-Fi, now let's go and restart the phone. Okay, so we got this message, so let's go really quick and... I try don't activate okay not activate it to activate your phone later go to settings view Verizon account okay so exit activation we're gonna do it on from a settings and now uh, now the phone allows us to continue with Wi-Fi so um, let's go and uh, choose a Wi-Fi account. Okay, once a Wi-Fi is been connected, just touch next to continue. And your phone is getting the phone ready. So continue and... Okay, so as you know, it's important to have a new Verizon SIM card uh, because the one that has been used uh, is no longer available to uh, continue using with the phone. So uh, we will be able to, con to activate that SIM card later. Okay, so copy apps and data. If this is one you, what you want to do. Just uh, you have a new phone. You want to transfer um, your con content from that old phone to the new one. Just go to the blue icon at the right side and uh, prepare your, follow the instructions. We're going to let you know how to do it. Now, it requires us to sign in with our uh, current uh, email account that we use on this smartphone, the TCL 30B 5G. So, uh, let's go in and choose a, I mean, enter the uh, a new information. If you choose to continue, create an account, or let's try to skip it. See, let us skip. Skip. Okay, so let us skip. So, but if you want to continue with the same uh, email address, just uh, enter your email and password. Okay, and touch accept. Unlock fingerprint. You can set up this later from settings. So, I'm going to skip this later. Uh, you can lock your screen with a password, pattern, or pin. I can choose this one also when I get to home phone settings. 
uh, skip anyway and skip face recognition if you want to set up everything just take your time and set up every single uh, option here but I some location info uh, I choose OK if you want to um, the phone to register your location uh, but I on cloud I'm gonna skip this one um, OK ready to go and cut it OK so we are on Verizon uh, home screen and you can manage account on your my Verizon application OK and this is how to reset this smartphone um, all right, so um, this is how to reset this smartphone. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave any comments that you need help with. And if you found helpful this video underneath of this video, you're going to see a thanks icon. If you would like to leave some tips for the channel. That would be great. If not, don't forget to subscribe. And search my other tutorials related to this TCL smartphone and Verizon prepaid tech support. Thank you.